open Rail Modeler Pro, and create a new baseboard by selecting Add Baseboard and then Rectangle. In the Baseboard Inspector, set the values for A to 135 and B to 250. Set the color to Desert Sand and click Insert. Set the canvas size to 300 by 200 in the Document tab. Go to View and select Zoom to Fit to adjust the view of the baseboard. Add the image Yard Job 1 by selecting Add Image from the File menu. Set the width to 265. Reorder the layers by dragging the image layer above the baseboard layer. Go to the Tracks layer and rename it as Tracks. Switch to the Cato Unitrack HO library in the library catalog. Select the Curved filter from the Quick Filter menu and choose the blue fill color. Insert 2 260 in the layout. Zoom in to 200%. Then go to View Center on Selection to center the view on the inserted curved track. Append a 2 260 piece and repeat four times using the keyboard shortcut. Apply the quick filter Other. Select a 2 151 feeder track and append it to the half circle. Use space to joint rotate the feeder track to position the connection wires towards the outside. Apply the quick filter curve. Select a 2 260 track and append it to the lower half. Repeat this once. In the upper half, append another track and repeat once. Set the quick filter to straight. Append track 2 140 to the lower half. Set the quick filter to Turnouts and filter the library catalog for 84. Select the left hand turnout, append it to the lower half, and reorient it. Select the right hand turnout, append it to the upper half, and reorient it. Remove the filter from the library catalog. Set the quick filter to curve. Select track 2, 270, and append it to the lower section as a counter curve. Append it two times to the upper section to continue the diverging route. Set the quick filter to straight. Select track 2, 150, append it to track 2, 270. Drag copy track 270 to track 2, 150 and reorient it using the joint rotate shortcut. Append track 2, 130. Select 2 270 in the library catalog using the contextual menu command. Append it once and reorient it. Append it once more. Set the quick filter to Other and drag track 2 170 to the layout. Go to Element Rotate Right. Connect it to the last 2 270 track inserted. Set the quick filter to Curve. Select track 2 260 and append it once to the upper section straight route. Repeat three times. Append one track, reorient it using the joint rotate shortcut. Append it once more and repeat this eight times using the keyboard shortcut. Go to View Zoom to Fit to show the entire layout. Select all tracks and colorize them black using the fill color control in the sidebar. Select the image layer and resize it to match the track section completed so far. Select the tracks layer. Select all tracks and colorize them blue. Set the quick filter to turnouts. Drag a 2840 turnout to the half circle we just completed. Set the zoom to 250% and invoke the View Center on Selection command from the menu. Append another 2840 to the diverging route. 
append a 2841 to its diverging root. Set the quick filter to curve. Select track 2270. Append it as a counter curve to the straight root. Change the zoom to 200 and scroll the canvas by holding down the command key while dragging the mouse. Set the quick filter to straight and select track 2, 150. Add one track to the lowest branch and repeat this twice. Append one track to the upper branch. Select track 2, 140 and append one track to the lower branch. Select all four straight tracks and drag copy them to the middle branch to connect them to the diverging root. Set the quick filter to turnouts. Select track 840. Append one track to the upper branch and one track to the lowest branch. Append 840 to the diverging root and reorient the turnout. Set the quick filter to straight. Select track 2, 150 and append it to the lower branch. Append one track to the diverging root of the upper branch. Append another track to the main root and repeat once. Select track 2, 140 and append one track to the upper branch at the diverging root. Set the quick filter to other and select the bumper track. Append one to the upper branch and one copy to the lower branch. Drag copy the 2, 140 and two 170 tracks from the upper branch to the 840 turnout. Append the final bumper. Select Zoom to Fit. Then set the quick filter to Straight. Select track 2 120 in the library catalog and append it to the right 840 turnout. Zoom to 200% and center on selection. Select track 2 150, append it to track 2 120, and repeat once. Append one track to curve 2 270. Drag copy a 2 840 turnout and connect it to the straight track, then reorient it using the joint rotate shortcut. Append another track to the straight route and repeat once. Turn off the quick filter and filter the library catalog by 270. Drag the curve to the turnout 2 840 and reorient it. Set the quick filter to straight and clear the filter. Select track 2, 150, append to the curved track. Select track 2, 130 and append it. Set the quick filter to other. Select bumper track 2, 170 and terminate both branches with the bumper. Fix the slightly overlapping 2150 track by using the Shorten Tracks tool to shorten the track. Enter a length of 24.1 in the Shorted Tracks inspector in the sidebar to create a slightly shorter track. Select Zoom to Fit and hide the image layer. Go to Filed Auto Colorize to open the assistant. Pick a nice color scheme and apply. Invoke Deselect All and change the zoom to 250%. Open Search and select Layout Mode. Then search for Feed and highlight the search result. Pick a dark gray fill color in the inspector and switch to Colorize Tool. Colorize the feeder track. Zoom to Fit and switch to Canvas Size in the Document tab in the sidebar to set its width to 270 and height to 160. Go to the Layer New Layer menu, then insert a text shape from the toolbar and change the text to Cato Unitrack Track Plan, Yard Job 1. In Text Inspector in the sidebar, change the element's font to Helvetica Condensed Bold Size 48. Move the text element to upper left and set its color to white using the inspector in the sidebar. Insert a rectangle shape from the toolbar and set its position to 10, 10 in the Element Properties Inspector. 
In the rectangle, inspector set its height to 12 and width to 85. Set its fill color to dark blue and the stroke color to black. Invoke the Elements Send Back menu command. Deselect all elements and hide the right sidebar. Zoom to fit and open the part list for the layout.